Mr. Hines will not be able to do the opening remarks today, but we are very happy and excited to have Ms. Ronnie Joss, who is the Chief of the Sex Crimes and Crimes Against Children Division. I am happy to welcome you to this important conference which will address the issue of teen dating violence. Now, when most people think about teen dating violence, they think about punching, hitting, pushing, slapping. And that is definitely one form of violence and probably the most common. But dating violence can take other forms like verbal abuse, that's like insulting you and saying bad things to you. Emotional abuse, that's like someone being controlling and extremely possessive or even sexual abuse. And sexual abuse is unwanted touchings or something even worse. And most victims of dating violence do not tell anyone about their abuse or even try to end the relationship. Many teens are even unaware that this behavior is abusive. Some teens are just too ashamed or afraid to tell anyone and fear losing their boyfriend. Many teens actually think they deserve the abuse because of something they did or didn't do that upset their boyfriend or their girlfriend. This conference is designed to teach you that relationship violence, dating violence, no matter what form it takes, is unacceptable and wrong. You deserve better, and today you will learn how you can stop the violence before it starts. Teen dating violence is an issue that affects all people, regardless of where they live, their race, their religion, their ethnic background, or their economic status. Anyone can be a victim. In fact, statistics show that one in three, one in three teens in the United States will be the victim of some form of dating violence during their teenage years. That's an incredible statistic, one in three. In 2011, a survey was done right here in New York City of high school students, and it was found that over 10% of the girls and the boys that were surveyed said that in the last year, they had been hit, slapped, or physically pushed by their boyfriend or girlfriend. Just in the last year. You may be wondering, why am I talking about high school students when you are in middle school? But they did a study and it was found that dating, you probably know this, starts to really begins around age 14, maybe for you even 13, when you're in the seventh or the eighth grade. And abusive relationships do not happen overnight. They develop over time. They start nice, but they get worse and worse as time goes by. That is why it's important to learn about healthy relationships and choices right from the beginning. This will give you the tools you need to identify abusive behavior and end it before it develops and gets out of control. And if it goes unchecked or gets out of control, this form of violence can leave behind physical scars, but emotional scars that could last you a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence is a subject close to the heart of our district attorney, Charles J. Hines. As a young child, he lived in a household where his father was extremely abusive to his mother. His mother tried to help to find help from the police, but nobody would help her. Because of this lack of help, the abuse lasted for years and years. That is why when he became the Brooklyn District Attorney in 1990, he set up one of the first domestic violence bureaus in the entire country. Since that time, our office has made great strides in providing services and raising community awareness about domestic violence. And teen dating violence is a, is a form of domestic violence. It's something that happens you know, with an with a intimate relationship. In 2005, in this office, we also set up a family justice center where victims of domestic violence can receive all types of services for themselves and for their families. Even if they don't speak English, even if a person doesn't speak English, an interpreter will be provided for them to help them with all aspects of their case, of their problem. And as an outgrowth of the Domestic Violence Bureau, and in response to the growing awareness of teen dating violence, 
our office set up a special program dedicated to helping teens as young as 13 break the cycle of violence. This is done through early intervention, advocacy, and counseling. Our Teen Dating Violence Program also provides education and outreach services to teens throughout our community about healthy relationships and other important topics. This program, the Teen Dating Violence Program, works together with a specialized court part here in Brooklyn. The court part was designed to help the victims and to make sure that the offenders, in other words, the, the people who, who do the abuse, will be held accountable for their actions. During this conference, you will be hearing a lot of information about teen dating violence, what it is, and what you can do to make healthy choices that will last you a lifetime. You will learn that what you could do if you or someone you know is a victim of teen dating violence. But don't keep this information to yourself. Share it with your friends, share it with your classmates, share it with your family members. I thank you for this important issue, and I hope you enjoy the program.